Hi, this is Yu Chen, co-founder of Jenny Impact, the app that makes investment research simple, and back again with another video this week. Last week has been another dramatic week for the market. First, let's start with the central banks. We saw both the Bank of England and the Federal Reserve raising their base interest rates as expected. Uh, in particular, the Fed has announced a 25 basis point rate hikes in the much anticipated FOMC meeting on Thursday last week, which officially kick-started the, uh, the monetary tightening process uh, in the US. The Fed actually went as hawkish as the market can expect, signaled a further seven interest rate hikes for the remainder of 2022, and potentially could speed up the balance sheet reduction process or quantitative tightening as early as this summer. However, the uh, reaction from the market was largely positive, to many people's surprise maybe. It could be that for the first time in a few months, investors finally can brace this tightening cycle with much of the Fed's uncertainty now removed, which means the investor no longer needs to be second guessing what the Fed could do, but just rather get on with the reality of living in a tighter uh, liquidity and credit cycle. Given the size of decline the market has already experienced since last November, a proper relief rally is long overdue actually, especially after the turbulence in recent weeks with the market already priced in so much of the risk. But it would be interesting to see if this rally can sustain its momentum this week and beyond. Another area was highlighting is the strong rebound of Chinese stocks listed in the US and Hong Kong, with some of the names like Didi Global doubled in value in just the space of two days. This rebound is the direct result of an announcement made by China State Council to support their company's listing in foreign exchanges in an effort to stabilize its, its financial market. Um, you know, that's providing a policy flaw to what it's the, uh, it's been the general downward trend for all Chinese stocks uh, that's been experiencing over the last nine months or so due to a tight regulatory control environment. Policy risk will always remain as the vital consideration when it comes to investing in China, but most of the listed businesses in Hong Kong and in the US are currently looking very cheap relative to its global competitors. So it's definitely worth giving some of the names a closer look at, uh, given the significance of China's economy globally. So for this week, situation in Ukraine and the elevated energy prices are likely to dictate what's happening going forward, and volatility is likely to remain high, and there may be more pains ahead for all the stock indices and over the next months or so. In my opinion, it's likely that most of the declines in the high growth and quality stocks are already behind us, and dollar cost averaging over the coming weeks are likely to reward long-term investors over the next few years. You can check out and find out more about these stocks and investment ideas in general in our app by using our filtered functions and on the discovery page. Hope you enjoy the market for the rest of the week, and I will see you next week.